In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tell your text layer to automatically stay within the size of your shape. So the end result will look like this. If you change the title to something like main title goes here, it automatically resizes when it hits the width of your shape. So that's what we're gonna set up. And as always, the free project file is available in the description of this video. So I'm gonna show you two different ways to achieve the same result. And the first method is the quickest one, but you do need to have a tool that I created called Smart Resizer, and there it is. So to use it, it's quite simple. Just select the text layer, navigate to the Smart Resizer, and make sure it's set to code mode, and make sure it's set to fit to width, and then hit apply. And just like that, your text layer in the effect controls panel will have all these parameters to adjust. So we have the width and the height, and you can think of them as the limits. So I'm gonna double click on the width here to see it in the timeline. I'm gonna select it in the timeline, hit S twice to solo it. And so I want to tell this width to be the size of my circle. And so the diameter of the circle is 500. So I'm gonna say width, which is the limit. I'm gonna parent to the width of our circle. And just like that, it will inherit this 500 pixels. So now I can go to the text layer here and I can change it to something like main title goes here. And just like that, you can see that it definitely fits the size of my circle, but I don't want it to be exactly the same. I do want to actually add some padding to the sides here. And to do that, I have built in a feature called margin width. And so you can pull on it, maybe add like 50 pixels on both sides. Now it's looking great. So you can change this to something like one, two, three, and it works like a charm. So that was the first method. And I get it. Not everyone has smart resizer. So if you don't, let me show you how you can get the same result using expression. So for that, we're going to go into our timeline in here. We're going to go into our text layer. We're going to go to the scale property of it. Next, I'm going to alt click on a stopwatch. And as you can see, the value of our scale property is lit up in red, which means that this code right here is now driving it. So inside of our code, we're going to create our first variable and we're going to call it size limit. And we're going to set it to 400 pixels. We do already know that the size of our circle in here from this end to that end is exactly 500 pixels. I want for the limit of our text to be lower than 500. And that's why I put 400. Here's what I want to happen. So once the width of the text hits 400 pixels, I want for the size of it to start sizing down. And that's exactly what this variable will do. So next, we're going to create another variable. We're going to call it text width. And basically, it's going to be this layer, which is the text layer. We're going to use source rect at time method, and we're going to grab a property called width. And on the next line, we want to do this. So now we have this size limit, and it is a pixel value. However, that's a problem because our scale property right here, the value of it is in percentage and not pixels. So we need to actually take this value right here and convert it to percentage. And so to do that, we're going to create another variable here. We're going to call it scale limit. And we'll do some basic formula here. So we're gonna do the following. We're gonna say size limit. We want you to be divided by text width. Then we want to multiply it by 100. So on the next line, we're gonna open and close square brackets. And inside here for the first value, we're gonna say scale limit. And for the second value, we're gonna say scale limit as well. Here's the reason behind it. So the first item right here is gonna be applied to the first item in our scale property. And the second value is gonna be applied to the second. So now when I click away, as you can see, it's kind of working. It took our text and it kind of stretched it to the limit. So now if I double click here and if I type something like main title, goes here. It's working. It's resizing. However, watch what happens when I type just a single letter. So we're going to go back into our text here and I'm going to type letter M. And as you can see, it's resizing it. It's not doing exactly what I want it to do. And the reason why, because I need to be more specific. I want to tell my text layer to only resize when it hits the size limit. So once it hits the size limit, I want for it to only size down. I don't want for my text to ever go higher than 100%. So that's what we're going to do in our code. We're going to go back into our code here and we're going to create another variable. We're going to call it fixed scale. And here's what I want to do. So I want to grab the scale limit and this scale limit value is in percentage. So I'm going to say, hey, scale limit, if you are bigger than 100%, I want you to be 100%. So if you go past 100%, I want you to be just locked into 100%. So that's basically what it does. But if you are smaller than 100%, I want to use scale limit and that's it. So then I'm gonna copy this variable and I'm gonna paste it for the first item and the second item. And now when I click away, as you can see, it's working quite well. So we can go back into this text and I'm gonna say something like one, two, three, four, and that's how you do it.